The story tells about a girl who ate a contaminated chicken nugget from a farm and what happened next. Chickens were found acting abnormally and there's a montage on how chicken nuggets are made. The contaminated nugget passes inspections and is distributed, ending up in a school in a town called Fort Chicken. A girl named Shelly eats the nugget and we are introduced to Clint, a struggling writer turned substitute teacher who still lives with his mom. He seeks feedback on his book from his mom, who critiques it harshly. Before reaching his destination Clint encounters Rick, a security guard, who mistakes him for his mushroom dealer and asks for the good stuff. Clint arrives at the school and finds himself trapped between a massive truck owned by Wade, the gym teacher. The vice principal informs Clint that he'll need to surrender his phone as it's a no-phone zone. Clint visits the teacher's lounge, where he meets Rebecca who warns him not to make eye contact or she'll press her alarm button. When Wade enters to grab coffee, Clint tries to make conversation but instead gets tied up. Clint runs into an old friend he hasn't seen in 15 years, who greets him with a smile. They catch up, and Clint learns that she heard he went to New York to chase his dreams. A teacher named Doug walks up to the conversation, but quickly leaves after making an awkward comment. When Clint meets Wade, he learns that Wade is a gym teacher and is asked about his upcoming book. Clint explains it's about a guy with a possessed bow, but Wade calls the idea unoriginal. At the classroom, one student makes a joke about Clint's name written on the board. Shelly starts to wheeze, and a student leans over to check on her, only to find out she's wearing a weave. Shelly bites the student, and Clint tries to break it up, but ends up getting hurt in the process. The student goes to the nurse and after class, Clint returns to the teacher's lounge and chats with Lucy again. Outside, a boy named Dink confronts Shelly for biting his friend, and he then starts to attack everyone. A security guard sees everything but is under the influence of medication. He informs the principal anyway. Wade is playing ball and unaware of the situation while Clint and Lucy are laughing. The vice principal arrives but is overpowered by the infected. In the lounge, teachers spot Wade who has just realized what is going on. Rebecca triggers the alarm while Wade is cornered, but he escapes after warning his attackers. Sheriff Dave arrives but is overpowered. Shelly also escaped and Dave barely makes it back to his car. In the lounge, Tara tries to attack Rebecca, but she dodges and someone else is affected instead. The group goes to the library and meets Calvin who is not infected. They head to the band room where they encounter an unwelcome visitor. Clint doesn't feel well and is discovered to be scratched. Doug checks him and reports that adults get a stomach flu, not the sickness. The group heads to the roof to signal for help but the woman they see is on her phone and her infected son starts to approach. The teachers fail to grab her attention and the son enters the car and starts to attack his baby brother. Teachers are shocked by a student's behavior until they realize she's not infected. Tamara joins the group and they retreat back inside when they find out the zombies can climb trees. Wade tries to block the zombies, but Dink gets through and grabs Doug, causing Wade to reflect on his actions. Lucy tries to comfort him, but he's bitter about her relationship with Clint. Suddenly, the lights go out, and the group has to save Calvin who is asleep and diabetic. They hear the sound of keys, but it's just the janitor Hitachi, who shows them a secret hideout. With time running out for Calvin, the group needs to find a way to get sugar for him. Clint realizes that if the air vent connects to the vice principal's office, they can get their phones. Hitachi provides a map of the vents, and since Clint is small, he is assigned to the task of navigating through the vents. Lucy sends positive vibes and prayers through the radio as Clint embarks on his mission. But when Wade starts making fun of him, Lucy decides to join him in the vents. They eventually find a vending machine for Calvin's sake, but all the phones have been destroyed. As they proceed, a young girl alerts causing the pair to rush forward. Meanwhile, Wade locks the vents and the pair take refuge in another room. Clint opens up about his feelings for Lucy and his insecurities, which leads to a kiss between the two. Clint finds some candy in a child's bag and the new couple then makes their escape as the rest of the group prepares for a final battle. The group encounters Clint and Lucy, and they continue forward. While they're on their way, they run into some infected people, but Wade fights them off. They make it outside to the playground where the infected and the teachers engage in a violent battle. Wade decides to stay back to defend while the others move forward. Clint, Lucy and the rest of the group continue in Wade's truck. They find the town to be in ruins and come across a TV reporting news from other states. They end up in a place like Chuck E. Cheese and find nuggets, but they also come face to face with zombies. Someone arrives to save them and they all get back in the car. It turns out that the person who saved them is Wade. 
Thank you for watching. Sometimes it's better when you spent few minutes for a movie rather than hours, don't you think? Let's hit the like button in that name.